Well, the White House released a big report late Friday that it said was good news on the economy. Late Friday on a holiday weekend. But when researchers went deep inside, they found new numbers showing a disappearing American workforce. A group of GOP lawmakers releasing this chart showing a sharp drop in the labor force over the last couple of years, meaning the people, they're just not even participating anymore. And it suggests that there are some 11 million Americans who are out of work but not being counted in our unemployment rate. Here to help us understand all of this is Lou Dobbs. He's the host of Lou Dobbs Tonight on the Fox Business Network and a syndicated radio host at loudobbs.com. All right, Lou, so, uh, you know, first of all, usually any White House, if it has true good news, especially in the, on the economy in times like this, doesn't re release a 446-page report at 4 p.m. on Friday <laughs> on a holiday weekend. So that, with reporters, raises all sorts of red flags. Yeah. What's, the, what's in this that may not be good news? It, what is not good news that is buried within this uh, almost 500-page report, Megan, is the fact that the labor force participation rate is continuing to decline. Uh, that number now is 63.7 percent of the labor force. What does that mean? 63.7 percent? Uh, it means that t t less than two-thirds of the eligible working age people in this country now are in the labor force. Mm -hmm actively seeking a job, participating at some level, either working part-time even though they're seeking full-time uh, or, or full-time employed. Uh, what it further means inversely, of course, is that a third, more than a third, of the working age population is not in the workforce. This is the not lowest... Not in it, not trying to be in it Not trying in it, done. And, or at least at this point uh, in, in the count. And the fact is that this is the lowest level in almost three decades, since 1983. Uh, it's some 11 million Americans who are apparently correct. out. They're out of the workforce now. Right. So when we hear that there's 8.3% right. unemployment in this country right now, uh, they are not accounted for in that. They're not accounted for in that because of the withdrawal of more than a million Americans from the labor force. And as that number has declined, of course, the percentage of unemployed has declined. Because the 8.3%, as I understand mm -hmm. it, reflects people who are filing for jobless Correct. benefits or trying right. to get unemployment benefits. But if you've been on unemployment so long that you get kicked off of it, right. or you've given up on finding a job and you aren't applying for unemployment anymore, you are not included in the 8.3% number. Correct. And it's important to note that for the first time uh, since the Depression, uh, we have people now on average unemployed uh, for over 40 weeks. Uh, I mean, that is now the average. Uh, what are these people doing instead? I mean, they still need to earn a living and pay well, mortgages and pay their bills. Where, where are the 11 million getting their money from? Well, uh, from, a, from a variety of places, but importantly, just last week we watched the passage of the so-called payroll tax holiday and made it uh, complete through the rest of this year. But not included in the reporting of that was the fact that they reduced the number of weeks for unemployment benefits from 99 weeks to 73. And those people who are now going over that 99 weeks and soon to be 73 weeks are going to disability. That adds another 10 million people. Well, how do you do that? How do you suddenly become disabled and get a disability well, payment? Folks are finding that there is great stress. There, is, uh, all, there are all sorts of claims. You need it's a that, doctor's note, essentially. You need a doctor's notice, and you also have to be, well, uh, you have to have a le the basis for a legitimate claim. Mm -hmm. And by the way, being unemployed for three years can create some uh, the, some real serious uh, claims. Lou, I, I want to like we've been looking at this, trying to figure right. out because there's, there seems to be so much malaise in the country when it comes right. to the economy. And you look at the president's approval ratings. All right, now they are actually getting a little bit better when it comes right. to his approval on the economy. I think we've got a poll from ABC News, Washington Post. Uh, it's it's not it's not great. Right? But I think it's a little higher than it sure. was a couple months ago. Right. It was down Still, in the low 30s. Right. 53% disapprove of the job he's doing on the economy. That's a majority. 44% though approve. But is that 40? Or does that 53% reflect what we're talking about now? That that no. that there are there are huge numbers of Americans. I mean, there millions of Americans who are not be working and they're not being even considered. Correct. And the and the Congressional Budget Office itself, nonpartisan, bipartisan, however one wants to look at it. Uh, estimates that the true unemployment rate is 15%. Others, private economists, put the number much higher, uh, anywhere from 17 to 20% mm -hmm. uh, as, a fair, as a fair measure of unemployment in this country. 
but compounding it with the number of people who are moving to disability uh, after the expiration of 99 weeks. Uh, we have a huge problem, uh, and we have an administration that frankly does not have time before election day to solve it, uh, and has a great deal to explain in my judgment as to why it was not dealing with these issues much, much sooner. Who over the past three years. Who pays for the disability? So if you get a doctor to rate you know and you're suddenly disabled, I mean, some people are legit, some people not so much. Who pays for that? Well, variously, but principally, the Social Security. Uh, it, it's Social Security disability. And that means that the American working man and woman uh, is paying for it and the employer. Uh, it, and, and the fact of the matter is it's going to go higher in all likelihood rather than lower. Wow. Lou, thank you. Thank